Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokey in here with an OU Showdown Live. Gonna be using the Toga Tomorrow team that I made with Scoot. Uh, and we be aiming on the ladder because that has come back. Now, the team isn't like anything. It's not supposed to be really good. It's just supposed to be super fun. Um, but I wanted to use Toga Tomorrow and I, I like this Pokemon a lot. I feel like if it had spikes, it would see OU usage because just like Feral Thorn, it's a spiker that beats uh, Tapu Koko. And then also has a pretty good speed tier, outspeeding Pokemon like Kyurem and whatnot. But as Belly Jamazu and Token Maru, uh, you guys probably saw a team builder. I mean, you might have saw the team builder. Um, and yeah, the battles were actually up on Scooch Channel if you guys didn't know. Oh, really cool team. I like it. Uh, we're gonna lead off with. Okay, so Azu is really good in this. I'm gonna lead off with Lopini. Um, even though I can't, I'm actually on my Pokemon account too, which I, I just started on because I was doing some battles earlier, so I was like, oh, I might as well play. Um, we're going to lead off a low bunny. Now, unfortunately, because of Rabami's ability, I cannot uh, fake him out. So I'm just going to go over my frustration uh, prior to... I expect him to stay up Sticky Webs, but if he wants to Moonblast, it actually has a chance to KO low bunny. I know, I use Rabami a couple times. So I'm going to go right for the um, frustration right here instead. And hopefully, not if he deal with it. I don't know why he switched out. Not a hundred percent sure why he switched out. Seeing as how he could have dealt with my, uh, he can't get flinched. Maybe he doesn't know he can't get flinched. So we'll go sell a Steela. Uh, a double from him is more than likely coming, but this is like my best play. I also take fighting him for days. And I can just knock him out with Heavy Slam. I take the plus two fighting him. I take plus two cons into Crush. I take all of that. I'm Fizz Def. Yeah, the hell out of here. Go ahead and give me this Bulu. Alright, so we'll get the Bulu from him. Uh, I mean, Salisil's role in this game wasn't really much. It wasn't beating anything on his team anyway. Might as well get a little bit of recovery as he actually ends up going for the Hidden Power. So, we'll go right back out in the opening. Uh, same thing. I'm not going to bother hitting him with anything. Just go right for frustration instead of sticky web. I don't, I don't really care. Like, I'll mega the next turn and get my speed boost anyway. And I can high jump kick if I want to. I mean, there's no point in high jump kicking anyway. There really isn't. Just mega evolve, get that speed boost, and knock him out with frustration. Like I said, I will gladly chain, uh, trade Celestilla for uh, Bulu. It didn't do anything in that game. It doesn't beat any mod on his team. Belly Drum Oz is my way of winning anyway. If I get up rocks, Chandelure is chipped away. And like I said, Belly Dramaza can win. Uh, Lopini is also faster than Bisharp, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we're going to switch out, though, because we are fearing this thing to go for the Fire Blast. He can't... He should know he can't Shadow Bomb me, but I'm fearing like an Infernal Overdrive or something. There we go. I do have Tangrel, so I'm not worried about uh, Zygarde. I'm more worried about Metacham. Uh, I don't mind him bringing in Zygarde right there. I'd rather chip away at everything with the rocks as well. Uh, like I said, go directly out into my Tangrowth right now. Deal with this. If he doubles out to Metacham, very good play. Uh, goes for sub. So that's okay if it's sub DD, leftovers, protect, or whatnot. I still end up breaking or breaking through it. Uh, it's actually sub toxic. Again, I need Zygarde like at 50 something percent in order to deal with it. So I don't mind him subbing up again or even going Metacham to make him uh, weaker. Uh, towards me so uh unfortunately in this game my token tomorrow does nothing unfortunately token tomorrow does absolutely nothing this game uh, so we'll have to sack that right now but i should be able to belly drum up now and hopefully break through him because i know i take i should be able to take one thunder punch then again maybe the safer play is just going lopany first getting a little bit of chip and then putting him in range of aqua jet anyway that might be the best play Cause he should go down to uh, my Aqua Jet now, based on that damage. Yeah, and it's okay if I, I lose uh, Heat Ram because as long as I have Lopini, I deal with the one. He can always miss and headbutt two. Uh, he can always miss High Jump Kick right now, and two I can just go for the Toxic. I don't mind that. Like I said, Azu should be able to pick him off. That did 31, and this is 371. This is stronger than that. I also don't think he has Thunder Punch. I'm gonna go Azu. I'm gonna attempt to Z-Belly Drum right here because I eat the hit. I get back my recovery as long as he doesn't uh, obviously flinch me like I said. And we just start breaking through him with the Aqua Jet. Uh, this should be able to deal with Chandelure. 
it doesn't matter he fakes out later anyway um zygarde is not in range but he has to sack something here ideally it's chandelier because i can't let him fire blast later uh through me and once metacham takes the rocks damage it goes down to fake out so yep there is the chandelier sack nice good b don't gotta worry about that metacham comes back out aqua jet threw him again that's fine uh i guess he could be bullet punched but that doesn't make sense with his team man that don't make no sense I, mean, I don't have any reason not to talk with you. I don't think he's sub toxic extreme speed Zygarde, and Zygarde should be 2 AKO by plus 6. Yeah. And I win the game with just fake out on the back. So uh, he's forced to go out into uh, Bisharp or or Metachamp. And either way, I go Lopini, high jump kick, fake out, whatnot. Like, I go Lopini right now, I fake out. If he goes Bisharp, the only way I lose this game is uh, it would involve missing high jump kick. That's literally the only way I lose this game. Because uh, otherwise, unless he has Drain Punch on Meta Channel. But I don't miss the high jump kick. Nice. And like I said, the only way I lose this game is if uh, I miss that or his last move is actually Drain Punch on the Meta Cham. But I'm hoping it's Ice Punch. I don't, it's definitely not Thunder Punch, obviously. Uh, nice. Even if it was Drain Punch, he doesn't get enough recovery and fake out knocks him out. So, cool. Unfortunately, that was a game where Togedemaru really didn't have any worth. I mean, he had Bulu. That boy Ice Punched and took his kill and left. I can respect that. He had Bulu, uh, like, Bishop. I mean, Webs in general versus a team with no hazard control. Kind of a bad matchup for me. Togedemaru's role is typically, like, pivoting between Coco. Like, in this game, for example. Uh, versus this, uh, I'm pretty sure this is a Brofist team. Which is super common. Uh, Togedemaru also doesn't have much worth besides maybe nuzzling something. I have this team, right? This would be the Brofist team. No, that's not the Brofist stack attacker team. It would be... Kartana. I have that many Kartana. Oh yeah, duh, I have that many Kartana teams. Freaking CTC just passed me everything. All of CTC's teams are Kartana teams. There it is. This fast move, Scarf Lando, same trend as mine, Dragon and Tyranitar, which we're super weak to, and Fighting Kartana. Oh, joy. Alright, so, Lopini Mega Evolving early on and getting any chip off on Lando is just, just good. It's just really good. Uh, I I don't care about this uh, this Lando at all. I know it's Scarf. Uh, Belly Drum Azu is. Hey. Belly Drum Azu is amazing in this game. If I get any damage off of Kartana, I need like 40% damage off of Kartana, and I can beat it. So he's definitely in a U-turn. He could Earthquake. But Celestilla, typically my best play. Uh, goes Mew. Uh, because my Togemaru doesn't do anything, I don't want to burn... Well, actually, Kiran is just a fine play anyway. Like, you can't touch it. Yeah. You give me flash fire here. And I can just get up my rocks. Um, it's not Taunt Mew, it's Ice Beam and whatnot. So, goes Gasheron. Uh, definitely a little bit annoying. I don't want him toxicking my Tangrowth. So, uh, because Tangrowth checks Kartana and whatnot very well. So does Celesteela. Both of them actually check it. Uh, we'll go Celesteela now on the potential Toxic protecting my Tangrowth. As he goes Heat Ran, very solid play on my opponent's part. Very, very, very solid play on my opponent's part. Uh, we can go out into our... We don't want to bring out Heatran because Heatran walls Mew uh, for sure. We'll actually bring out Azumarill right now. I don't see a reason not to. Um, if he opts to stay in, I'm actually just going to click Knock Off. I don't care if he toxic me. Uh, I'd rather knock off the potential Gastrodon first and I can Belly Drum later. I force him to recover and whatnot. In fact, I'm going to Belly Drum right now because he's forced to recover. I want to claim my kill, and then I can Z-Belly Drum later and claim another kill. Doesn't burn me nice, so knock off, claims me a kill. Uh, we get rid of Gastrodon, would have been a little bit annoying to pivot into. The Kartana can come out now. Uh, goes Mew, which I don't think was the correct play, because this is still going to knock you out, even though it's... Yeah, this is still going to knock you out, so I don't mind you getting rid of a Lopini answer. For me, and I can always eat Belly Drum later versus Heat Ran. So Kartana comes out. Directly into Togo tomorrow we go. We're not going to risk anything from this Kartana. Uh, especially because Leaf Blade is the most likely option. 
that he'd go for. And I don't want to leech seed. I'm just going to flamethrower. I don't want him setting up on me, predicting me to leech seed, expecting, yep, expecting me to predict Kiran. So uh, I'd much rather knock him out, get my beast boost, and pretty much wall his Tyranitar infinitely with this Pokemon. And there it is. I need Tyranitar to come out too. Uh, we take every hit. I should actually Heavy Slam twice. No, no, no. Leech Seed is better. Because I can always fake out uh, if things get rough. And we do manage to land, which is great. Uh, so he doesn't knock me out with Fire Punch. I'm Fizz Def. And this is only 80 base power. But I I should be able to 2 hit KO him with Leech Seed. Yep. Let me just protect here just to be safe. Fire Punch should not matter. Uh, I'll sack Toe tomorrow again. I get, and like I said, it's one of those matchups where Toe tomorrow does not do anything. <laughs> it just died. <laughs> it's just one of those matchups where Toe tomorrow does not do anything. But we can safely go out to opening. Rocks are up. He can't switch. Fake him out. Knock him out with Lead Seed and whatnot. And get all the recovery back while also uh, threatening the Heat Ran. And was the Heat Ran Earth Power in this game? It was. I mean, I still should be able to win. Like, all I need is a little damage on Lando. He's going to U-turn anyway, but... Like, all I need is damage on Lando. Uh, I can sack Azu. Though part of me doesn't because I... No, there's no way it takes an Earth Power at the percentage it'll be at. Uh, we'll keep Celesteel alive because it ensures that Landorus is not a threat. And... I know he's Earth Power. But I mean, it's going to come down to me eventually hitting a high jump kick anyway, and I do have uh, Tangrowth and a Speed Tie in the back. Like, I have Earthquake from Tangrowth and a Speed Tie, so I might as well go for the high jump kick now. Like, it doesn't matter if he keeps if he U-turns uh, with this Lando, and again, he's just chipping away at it for me, so uh, we'll always go Celestilla. He should U-turn here, but we'll always go Celestilla. Terribly, I could just go Tangrowth. We'll go Celestilla. We also waste his Magma Storms by bringing in Celestilla. I want just one matchup where Togo tomorrow does something. Azu's so good. I love Belly Drum Azu, man. I love Belly Drum Azu. It is such a fire mod. Z Belly Drum is so cool too because, like I said, in this game, if there was a, uh, a chance where I could Belly Drum into Z Belly Drum, uh, by the way, his best play would have been going Cartana first. I understand why he went Mew, burn me. That way, Cartana has a free setup. But if he went Cartana first, he would not take too much damage from plus six Aqua Jet. I want to say around 40%. Maybe that's even being generous. Uh, and then he wouldn't have lost his Mew, which gave Lopany, which helped out Lopany a lot. So we'll just leech seed here. No reason to double switch out. No reason to risk that, especially because all I gotta do is protect up a bit. And there's, yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't win this game. <laughs> I have no reason not to protect, and if he goes back on Heat Ren, after the next leftover hit, he's actually in range of my Earthquake from Tangrowth. I think even if it does burn me. Like, I just know these calcs based on playing, but I could be wrong. I could be just be talking, like, just lies. But look at this Heat Ren just getting sipped away. It's funny because Celestial actually could beat this 1v1 too. Um, but there's no way a Scarf Land beats Lopany. No way it beats anything. Uh, really, um, I have no reason not to go to, uh, Heat Rain right now. I, if I win a Speed Tie, I get rid of the opposing Heat Rain. If he goes for Earth Power, which doesn't even knock me out because he's not Special Attack invested, uh, I still get a potential Speed Tie going off here, which I end up winning. And all I gotta do now is just uh, fake out the Lando and I win. See, so yeah, a good game, dude. Nice. Let us keep going. I know we're kind of playing with five Pokemon these games because Togemaru's not doing anything. It's just the team compositions we're seeing. I just want to see a Coco that can't Volt Switch. Or a Mag that can't Volt Switch. Hey, Okay, that's fire. Alright, so uh, this will be a little fun. Belly is good, but yeah, has Psychic Terrain and Kartana. So, ooh, this is going to be fun. I'm getting excited. Uh, what the hell is going on back there? Thank you, friend. Oh, this is going to be fun. I, okay, I'm not going to lie. With Madness of Cartana, I'm actually super threatened. And I can very well lose this. Uh, if that's Mega T-Tar as well, that's so annoying for me. But this is going to be fun. I'm just fun because Togedemaru gets a click U-turn. I, I don't know why that's fun for me. It's fun. It's not fun when Landers click U-turn. But Togedemaru gets a click U-turn. Oof. 
So we just lead off a Pokemon that beat my entire team now. I want an Iron Head here. <laughs> He's such a bad play. We'll go Hard Tag Growth. As he U-turns immediately. Um, Tyranitar could be Rocker Mega. And this could just be Scarf Lando. Which gets considerably harder to deal with. Especially if this specs Lele. I don't really have a switch in besides Eran. Oh god, it's Combine. I'm assuming it's all out pummeling too. It could be. I mean, I, I didn't really have a choice there. I, I really didn't have a choice there but to go for rocks. Like, I mean, damage won't do much for me. But we do have my boy, Togedemaru. Okay, get off a little bit of chip right here, buddy. I'm alright with losing Heatran, especially because I get a little bit of chip off. Hey, that's not going to trap me. That's not trap me. I ain't stuck here with you. You're stuck here with me. Just kidding. I ain't stuck here at all in that period, bro. I'm returning. Oh, Scarf Magnezone? Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm going to give him my Ozzy right now. Uh, I don't want a Belly Drum because he could go Lele. I'm just going to knock. Uh, if you go Tox Specs, you go Tox Specs. Like, little what I stop you from doing. And plus, if he goes Kartana, it's better for me. If he stays in with Mag, then cool, I knock it off. But yeah, like I said, yeah, I don't want a Belly Drum because Lele could just revenge kill me anyway. Shattered Psyche. Oh, boy. All right. Well, I guess Togo tomorrow did the only thing I had to do, which was find out that it was Z, that it was Scarf Magnet Zone. And yep, we take the Shattered Psyche right there. Get to bring out my Lopa knee. He's definitely going on to Tox effects, but there's nothing I could do about that. I mean, if he goes Lando, he lets me chip away at it. Uh, if he stays in with Lele, great. I get rid of the Psychic Terrain. Which is something I really, 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 really want. Ooh, that's defensive too. Yep. Yes, it is. Since it's Scarf Magnet Zone, I, I need to chip away at it just a little bit more before Celesteel actually beats it. Oh, he's Protect. I don't mind you toxic me. Go for it. No, wait. You're not even... Protect... Are you even toxic? I can't even tell. Because... He has U-Turn. Typically, it's Protect. It's Protect Stealth Rock. Um... And whatnot. I'm going to lose that item. Oh, Jug Button, too. Ooh. That would have been fun. The fact that that 2KS is ridiculous, by the way. I would just like to say that. I want HP Ice here. He should not go Lando, but I, f I figured like I might as well try and read him right now. Uh, especially if I'm able to get rid of it. Which I'm not, unfortunately. But we can just Giga Drain now. Uh, Lele is also in range of uh, Giga Drain, I want to say. This does not give you anything. Yeah. If he goes Zone, great. Go get a little bit of recovery for me. I'd appreciate it. Toxpets ain't gonna take nothing from this. Okay. <laughs> we'll go Celestella right now. Um, I'm gonna just attempt to leech seed through the the zone and whatnot. Especially because Celestella beats his entire team outside of Toxpets. Huh. Totally, I could just Giga Drain here. Yeah. Because if I went Celestilla there, he would but, uh, be able to get up rocks. So by getting rid of Lando, I don't allow that. Uh, granted, he can probably just go out into his uh, Lele now. Uh, but at least I don't allow rocks from my opponent. I'm just making the calls, but I'm still I'm still trying to figure out the end game that wins me the game. I think it's Belly Drum Azu. But I'm trying to hope that... I'm, I'm trying to show that it might not be. Uh, that it's actually not. What, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to show that it's not Belly Drum Azu. I'm assuming that that is Scarf Cartana, just based on the fact he has Magnezone. Tyranitar. Alright, well, Celesteel is my best play. Yep, and it is the Rock Support one. Cool. Let's get up our Leech Seed right here. He can get up his Rocks if he wants to. Get a little bit of recovery off on you. Nice, nice, nice. Go ahead and get a little bit of... Uh, Recovery off on that Magna Zone coming in now, too. As long as I land this Leech Seed, uh, Zone will be in range of... Zone will be in range of an unboosted Flamethrower. Not like a boosted Flamethrower, anyway. Um, but I should be able to get rid of Zone now. I won't lose my Celesteela because he's Scarf Zone. It'll do like 70, some ridiculous amount. But I don't think I ever need to switch out Celesteela after that, anyway. 
I'm not sure why he would switch. Like, I'm not switching out Celestilla. And if Celestilla gets burnt, it doesn't matter either way. So I'll stay in right here and just spam Leech Seed for me. Get recovery off. If you want to try and get up a 7 layer, that's fine too. Um, you don't beat my Celestilla 1v1, and I don't... I don't be Tox Specs, but I have no reason not to just spam Flamethrower here. Uh, one, it could potentially burn Tox Specs, making my job a little bit easier. And two, it does not allow Magnezone to come in. So if he wants to waste recovers right now, I will gladly take it. I will gladly take it. Celestial's Heavy Slam is literally not needed in this game. Uh, it will still kill Lele despite burn. Uh, Magnezone goes down to Flamethrower. And again, potentially getting burns off on this guy. Is really 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 nice. I could also just go out to Tangrowth right now, but I'm gonna go for the burn on how many times did I crit him? I know he's going for burn too, but like I don't lose anything from this. I really don't. I, like I don't like, I understand the, the idea of going for Scald here, and like, wow, I'm, I'm really surprised I'm actually not getting burnt, which is pretty funny. Um, Alright, well, well, let's switch out to this turn. Just because Tangrowth and the fact that he is actually uh, Leech Seed, he's forced to recover, whereas I can just spam... I can spam Earthquake, and it actually will be able to knock out everything. So I don't mind him recover stalling me a little bit. Because I'm just wasting his recovers right here. Yeah, I really don't mind wasting his recover. I'm going to Celesteel right now, because I don't want him going to Tarantar this turn. I get no recovery, and it's harder for me. Uh, especially because he just used six recovers. So, again, like we're in just a situation where I can beat Toxapex. But I don't have to beat it right now. I really don't. And I can just go right for the Giga Drain even. I don't think I even need to go for the uh, Earthquake right here. Like, I'll, I'll still gain back recovery. He's used 10 of those. Uh, Tyranitar is a very likely switch, I would say. Because nothing else really appreciates Earthquake. And if he wants to keep going for recovers, again, he's making it so he doesn't beat me. Uh, 1v1. Ghost Cartana. He already showed a Z. I'm pretty sure this is Scarf. I'm going to Earthquake right here because... Uh, Celestilla, I don't, I don't want him doubling out into Magnezone, one. That's like a big thing, I don't want Celestilla, him doubling out. Two, I'm pretty sure this is Scarf. I am pretty positive this is Scarf. But we can just go Celestilla here. Um, if Lele was gone, I'd belly drum up with Azu. Let's go for them Cedonators. The fact that we're landing is pretty cool too. Throw off a nice little flamethrower. I literally need two flamethrowers to win this game. One for Cartana and one for Magnezone. But I very much appreciate a burn. I mean, he's probably saying the exact same thing. And he finally got it, which is cool for him. Um, but I would very much appreciate a burn myself. Versus him. I'd go Tarantar now. I'm gonna go Lopany. Because if he scalds right now... One, Lopany gets me a kill. Depending on what move he goes for. Uh, two, I can fake him out. And, like, he has eight recovers left. So between my regenerator and the fact that I got Leech Seed off on him and whatnot, and the fact that he's also forced to go for recover this turn. Hmm. Him having Haze is annoying. Oh, well, I'll just cook frustration. Like, he goes Magnezone. He's giving me the Celestilla answer, so... Or his answer for Celestilla, which I'll gladly take. Like, you don't deal with this well at all, sir. Now you can't even switch in on a Burnt Heavy Slam because you die. I don't even think uh, Toxapex switches in because it's specially defensive. I'll high jump kick here. Because I don't want him going to Tarantar. Do I care if he goes to Tarantar? No, I don't care. I really don't. You're giving me zone and that's what I care about. That's really what I care about, getting zone. Because now that Celestilla can't be trapped... Yeah, he's also giving me damage for the Aqua Jet sweep on Cartana. Uh, so we'll go Tangrowth now because we don't allow him to double out into uh, zone. I'm assuming he's double scarf, by the way. 
just going to assume this is double scarf. The Aqua Jet Sweep is coming. Yep. Tyranitar. Nice. Go ahead and give me some Leech Seed. Recovery. Uh, Karchana is now in range of plus six Aqua Jet. Everything is looking good. He just needs to give me Lele. You just need to give me Lele, sir. Give me Lele. <laughs> that is what I ask of you. I want your Lele. I really, really, really want your Lele. Please, please give me that Lele. Just so I can win with Belly Drum Azu already. You gave me the damage off on Kartana I need. Everything is weakened. Just get rid of that Psyche Terrain, sir. You don't need it. He knows he needs it. He has to know he needs it. Like, I could not see him not knowing he needs it. Anyway. Kartana took how much last time? In frustration. Decent amount. You can recover up. Seven more. Seven more. Oh, this is getting... <sighs> just, I just want... I just want that Lele. Give it to me. He should go to Rantar and pursue me. Um, but I really want that Lele. I really do. I'm sorry it's taking so long, by the way, guys. I'm just really trying to not lose the game. He'd be smart to pursue here. I would pursue here. Yep. I would have definitely pursued it there. So, we get rid of Tyranitar. Please go Lele, sir. Go Lele. It makes sense. Magnezone has one switch in left. Go Lele. There it is. I'm gonna keep you alive, sir. And you get the Focus Slash Special Defense drop. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That, that might... Mmm... That's not game. No way that's game. It's okay, sir. Don't worry about it. Pivoting back and forth. It's fine. Uh, it might actually have been better because now he's going to stay in with Lele. Alright, buddy. Go ahead and give me that. I might have just lost there because of the Spadef drop. Because I would have forced Magnezone to come in after, and then I could have went Lopany. Hmm. I think I, maybe I should have stayed in with No, 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 I need a Tangrowth. So he can't click Leaf Flay. He still can't get a Leaf Flay versus me. Sack Lele. Sack Lele. Sack it. Sacking Zone works too. So I get recovery back, right? He's definitely going Kartana now. To Sacred Sword through me? Or Leaf Blade? If he Leaf Blades, it doesn't knock out Celestilla. I'm just gonna frustration here. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Lele is gone. Perfect. And I can literally, if he goes Kartana and Leaf Blades, I can go Celestilla. Perfect. Kartana is definitely in range of plus six. Is it over? There's no way I'd die. If he went for Sacred Sword, I win. I Z Belly Drum up now and I win. Let's go! Everything is finally being in range for Azu. Oh man. Little Token tomorrow did nothing. Little Toga tomorrow did absolutely nothing. I mean, it, either way, it's the exact same thing because Attorney has to haze me as Attorney, I knock him out, and I just Leech Seed uh, beat Tox effects. But plus six. He might actually live this, but I'm, I'm assuming he's because he's special defensive. Yeah, he does not. Belly Drum Azu coming through with the clutch endgame, and Kartana is in range. Let's go. Good game, dude. Hey, that's the endgame I was going for the entire time. I know that was a really long one and we didn't really get too many games, but I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I thought AV slash choice. Ah. Okay, that makes sense. 
Um, but either way, thank you everybody for watching. Oh, that's to do with the mind games that just having several different sets. Thank you everybody for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed. It was a lot of fun for me. So tomorrow didn't really get to do anything. It was fodder every single game. But again, just the team mechanics. Uh, I was just happy in that game. I, I think like the biggest thing about that game was me finding out that Magnezone was Scarf due to Token tomorrow being trapped. So that was pretty cool. Um, and so that was still a for MVP. But definitely, Belly Drum Azu putting in the work. Uh, I appreciate you guys all watching. Feel free to leave a like. Subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, friends.